Okay, here we are back again, going to make another video. I was just looking through my archive and noticed I didn't have a quantum, and I had to, uh, I was designated the quantum killer on uh, one of our ops recently in, in my task force, so I figured it's a, a good time to make a video. How to solo a quantum. Now, where I see most people make the mistakes on quantum, that I guess that maybe they haven't ever done it before or know a better way, is what happens is they try to go to the right here. They, they, they want to clear these mines and do something over here to the right. They'll land in the... Uh, I need to get a... Let me get a better screenshot. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. So what I see... What I see is people landing down here normally and wanting to flare up here on top of the sniper tower. And what and this makes the girls walk really funny and spread really far. And we'll get over here into these mines. Uh, uh, a lot of people still, I don't think, understand the, the 45-90 rule. Zookas like to walk in 45-degree lines and straight lines. And whenever I say 45-degree lines, always imagine an imaginary line running from a corner to corner of a defense this line and then of course the straight line they like to walk in these two directions depending on where they start and where you flare uh, you can you can somewhat determine the defenses they're going to walk in between and around uh, like for instance if you if you land down here and you already and you flare so you have to imagine a line along the side of your defenses like so if you flare in between these lines these girls are going to go over and they're going to split these defenses. So they're going to walk around the, the edge of these, maybe split this machine gun, depending on how far up or down the beach they are. They go over here and walk and split these defenses. I don't particularly like that. So how we, come on, erase everything. Like to do it is I will flag land. We'll flag land right here below the uh, the top of the beach, below these machine guns, and throw a smoke to gather the girls, which is pretty simple. Once they are almost all under smoke, first flare point will be. You can see this little L-shaped graphic on the map. Even though we're, I'm on an Android and it's a little blurry, uh, you can see this little L-shaped graphic right here, just in line with that elbow is uh, where we'll flare first, about right in here. And the girls will split. They'll go right in between all of these defenses to right here. Now, while they're still moving, uh, what, what I see a lot of people make a mistake with on any map, whenever you have intermediate flares, is they wait for the Zookas to get to the flare before they reflare, which is a huge mistake. Never let your girls reach the flare and stop and start to spread. Uh, it, it makes them walk funny. Get your next flare out. Uh, you anticipate to get the next flare out uh, where the next flare will land just before or about the same time your girls hit the flare. But it's really important to not quit letting your girls reach these flares and start to spread. Okay, but this will be our flare point up. And the next one will be right up in here i always make it right on the edge of this sniper tower uh, not inside the line but right on the edge of the sniper tower so you can see the the important mines to clear are the ones we cleared here with two artilleries use two artilleries to get rid of the mines that were here flag land here on the beach flare to here flare to here and then it's just uh hitting your shocks now, the only, the only thing that really makes quantums any difficult is sometimes they can be a lot of shocks. Like, almost always, there will be a couple of rockets here. So this is, uh, will usually always be a shock. And the same over here will typically be a shock. And sometimes here, and usually always here, here, and here. So if this was a typical... Uh, well, if this one had rockets over here where it has sometimes... You can see this would be a six shock uh, quantum. Now six shocks, that's a, that's a lot of GBE, especially with the, in the days now that we're using battle orders. Uh, it's a ton of GBE to throw six shocks. So what you can do whenever, whenever you have a lot of shocks that you're not sure you have the GBE for is, of course, use critters to do some distracting. So now let's, uh, let's have a look in real time. Once we reload again...
And now you'll see two arts to clear minds. Flag land over here. Throw a smoke to protect them from the machine guns and anchor them. And then as soon as they get under, we'll flare up. And you'll see they'll, most of them will go right in between these defenses. Now before the girls get up to the flare and stop, we're going to go ahead and flare up. So they stay on the move, double smoke finish. And now we just got to hit shocks. Flare the core and hit your shocks, which this one looks like one, two, three, four shocks. Pretty easy quantum. And that's how you solo quantum. Thanks for watching.